this away. Yeah. No, it, and they're open to like 1 a.m. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm probably going to get some after this. If, you, if you've ever been to Salem, you'd know every single restaurant and place that serves food closes at 8 p.m. sharp for the retirees. Uh, they don't go out past that time, so every place closes after that. So, yeah, not a lot of options <laughs> when you're out around 10 p.m. and you're like, man, I'm starving. It's just like it's like Taco Bell, like one McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because we have so many McDonald's. And I'm pretty sure they closed, or like the McDonald's that was 24 hours in Salem is no longer 24 hours. No way. No, they, yeah. they still are. The South Salem one? Okay, but the North North Salem one. Probably. Yeah, they used to be 24 hours, but no longer. So there was a, yeah, there's, there was a couple, actually, that were 24 hours, and now it's just the one. I know it's just the one in South Salem. All right, it looks like we're getting right into it here. Three, Starting two, good old PS2. One, you know, go. some people consider the more, you know, competitive stage. Some people are like, why am I seeing PS2 so much? We, we, we need more diversity in our stages. What do you think? What do you think the, the ground on PS2 is made? Do you think it's like, do you think it's like a like a basketball court kind of thing, or it's just painted over, or do you think it's like turf? Like it, it, it's a little too like you know like solid material looking for it to be just like turf. Right. I, I want to go for kind of like a what am I thinking about? It's not turf. I'm, I'm I, I can't think of the specific. Oh, oh my goodness. We're, we're only a minute in here. And Peregrine just took a stock right there. Okay. Yep. Oh, and it is cooking up with this combo 54% and having that stage control. And yeah, you got to watch out for that forward tilt. It will take your stock in a moment's notice. Yep. 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 So will F Smash. Yeah. Fun fact. You know. It's stage. <laughs> the hero spin, quick option. It's so good. But, like, if they shield it, a oh, lot of I, I, I think, I think on shield it is like horrible. Like you are. It's not great. Yeah. Yeah. No. Guaranteed initial punish. hit. Initial hit is what they try to go for. But if the initial hit, oh, oh. the initial hit is shielded, it's basically just like, okay, I get a free punish on, on the lane. Oh my goodness. Bro, oh, really? Uh, bringing this back there just with a KO punch. Still making it back to stage. Interesting. Little aerial Mac going there. Going for those up tilts. I, I don't know what those nares were for. They're, uh, I'm just, kind of just to get off yeah. the properly, you know? The count, did you see the counter of the arrow to get back to get closer to stage? A risky option, though, because you definitely can get caught oh, yeah. during that animation. Oh, yeah. For sure. So much value out of that hero spin. You love to see it. But will Peregrine be able to bring this back? You know, kind of lost the lead earlier, but is doing pretty solid here with the shield pressure. Oh my goodness, and we're seeing the boomerang. Almost saw the horde air cancel there. Max looking, for, Max looking for a shield break here. Ooh, but that kill punch now on deck. Oh, oh. Well, you best be careful. Mistakes cannot be made anymore. But, you know, in terms of being able to box oh, your opponent out, I was nice about bomb. to say, Link, Link you know, kind of zoner, not 100%. A good down smash. Oh, no. There it is. You know, what happens to the best of us. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I don't want to run into that PR player in my region. I don't want to run into my bracket demons. My bracket the real demons. people. The real people know. I don't want to run into a Little Mac. That's true. Little Mac players, like, I don't know. They're kind of like um, like barnacles on the bottom of a ship, you know? Like, okay, don't. It's not an insult. Okay, but okay. But, like, like, think about it in the most positive light ever. Like, they're, like, think think about it. They're, like, bottom, bottom of the food chain. But they okay. stick to the ship anyway. Okay. Right? Let me cook. <laughs> uh, look, keep going. I, I, I'm they, giving you room. They they stick around out of spite, and you have to you have to like you have to like remove them with a lot of force. They, okay. they, they stay around, and they make sure that they you know like they uh, they're spiteful. They're spiteful creatures. Yeah, they they don't make it easy. No, they don't. 
and if they do make it easy, it feels good. You know, like, you know, you're, you're cleaning something up and you see that spec there and you're like, oh, this is gonna be really annoying to clean up. And then, you know, you just get, you know, some soap, that paper towel, and you just wipe it off. It's like, oh, that was so easy. Barnacles probably require a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Than, uh, some soap yeah, a little and paper tougher, towels. But, uh, no. Not all little max are both the same. Speaking of the uh, link up B, what is your thought on overall ultimate up B, up B out of shield meta? Uh, like it, loose thoughts. It's it's fire hugely up. character dependent. Specifically with Link, you gotta be really careful here. I feel like Turning's almost a little too lax with throwing out. Like we just saw that punish there, you okay. know, a little too trigger happy about it. But under the right scenarios, like if you have like characters, I don't know, like Cloud, for example, which you can just like out of shield, it is a really fast option. But we also saw Proto with the solid call out there with the out of shield up special to catch that high recovery. You know, you just gotta know those situations. You gotta know your character's toolkit. Oh yeah. And you know, some up specials, not as good as others. Right. I mean like, you know, I don't know, like I, I think it's, it was interesting to watch kind of the transition from 4 into ultimate with how shield pressure and aerials work. Because, you know, like, 4, it was, oh, you attack my shield, I'm going to grab you. Mm -hmm. Right? That was, like, the whole thing, with, especially with, like, uh, boxer characters and, like, uh, like just um, rushdowns and stuff. A it was a lot of just sitting in shield, yeah. waiting for them to either attack your shield, air dodge, whatever, and then you like, just Like, run, run up shield, like, I know that was a big thing before, if I wasn't mistaken. Yes, and the the transition from that meta to holding shield and then up being, yeah. it wasn't as instant as you'd think it was. Like, people found out that up B out of shield was pretty good pretty early on, obviously, but, like, it took a while for it to, like, kind of kind of get out of everybody's heads, you know? Like, kind of just like the muscle memory of like, I'm gonna try and grab and get big damage here off of a, off of a, off of a you know, like a aerial whiff or whatever. But, I don't know. I, I think that while up be at a shield, as overall, while I think that it can be super beneficial with some characters, I think it can make already really good characters if they have a good up be out of shield, like, really annoying because <laughs> i mean it is just a get off me granted it's yeah. not smash 4 where they get a grab and possibly a like a whole combo mm. out of like punish whatever what have you but like i i i think that like i think it's it's like you said definitely character dependent you just kind of have to know the matchup but it's just i think some characters get really really good moves out of in that pressure yeah. and some don't and i think that that kind of indifference isn't always the most balanced thing ever because you'll have bad characters with bad up out of shields you'll have good characters with good up out of shields you know everywhere in between like definitely some of the big reasons why people hate playing characters like game and watch for example where you are just super privileged with that up oh yeah like oh ow, wait a minute no did you feel that one I, I, did mac punch him? i i got a did he hurt feelings you? about that it hurt me a little bit okay. to be honest because from my perspective, I, I just saw Perrine, like, get behind Proto there. But then suddenly, reversal. Perrine teleported back, like, divine intervention. Have you seen that clip of, it's either a Shulk or a Mark doing, like, an up like, through the entirety of Smashville, and, like, just teleporting on top of Smashville from, like, off stage, like, under the stage? Probably. I've, I've probably seen that. That, that clip, I, that clip is so funny. <laughs> there, there are some funny clips, facing through stage, all that jazz, but oh yes. my goodness, we see this KO punch, oh and ooh, very scary situation to be Peregrine at the moment, holding that shield, trying to avoid the pressure set here by Frodo, ooh and great execution with that bomb and the catch there with the, oh and that was risky for Frodo right there. Dodge. Marrow, Marrow. Oh. Okay, okay. Now, Peregrine, okay situation here. Has bomb in hand. 
but has to deal with the pressure. Oh, the proto mix up there with the bomb. Ooh, interesting bomb recovery there. Not necessary in this situation from what I could tell, but you know, if, if you can catch your opponent or try to condition them to think you're going for certain options, it can be good. I feel like, uh, I feel like they just could, you know? I feel like they just could do that. Because uh, Lil Mac, what is Lil Mac gonna do out there? But, but here's the thing. Or in the air. I, I feel like that percent is precious. Sure, yeah. And, and in that situation where we just saw Peregrine lose a stock to the smash attack, if you didn't take that damage there from the bomb, would you have been able to survive? That's like the question I asked. Well, and in this case, Unfortunately for Peregrine, it does go in Proto's favor. But Proto, solid performance moving on there. Good set. Yeah, that was a good set. Yeah, solid back and forth. All right. Should be seeing our next set here in a bit.